Good morning on this Friday, the 7th day of July 2013. Today I am cooking breakfast. What am I going to have? Well, in Grandma's old cast iron skillet, I've got some uh, regular old uh, baked potatoes. I went to Winco early this morning and they didn't have red potatoes. I would normally have red potatoes when I'm frying them up like this but for some reason Winco didn't have any so we just got some peanut oil in there and a little bit of butter I gotta turn it up a little bit and I always use a little bit of Lowry seasoning salt on those and I bought ribeye steaks this is something that I don't do very often anymore Winco has a good meat section I actually wanted to buy filet mignon today beef tenderloins they're about uh, $16 a pound, but they didn't look very good. I examined them and I didn't like what I saw. So I went ahead with the ribeyes. I, ribeyes and beef tenderloins are my favorite red meat. And um, I like a ribeye just as much as I do a tenderloin. So both of these are over a pound. I am not gonna eat an entire one of these. I've never been able to eat that much meat. So I'm going to just cut these into thirds somehow. And that'll be plenty for me because I'm having some potato along with two eggs. Going to have steak and eggs this morning. I haven't had eggs for a while and I haven't had steak for a while because it's just so darn expensive. So let's get to this. And for my lunch today, I'm going to be making a fine dining appetizer a dinner appetizer for my lunch and I don't know what else I'll have with it but I'm gonna be making some sauteed mushrooms when I worked for the big corporation and at uh, several at one point I was the fine dining cook and or the grill cook uh, whatever it is I did everything there in the 16 years I was there but when I was a fine dining cook we had an appetizer on the fine dining menu called uh, sauteed mushrooms and we'll talk more about that at lunchtime so let's get back to the steaks now okay I've cut the one steak into three big chunks and they're pretty big that's a nice looking piece of ribeye there so we'll put that back in the fridge when we go to cook this we'll give it a good coat of Lowry's seasoning salt I'm gonna be using an egg pan today to cook my eggs because my cast iron skillet's just going to be too busy. Got too much stuff going in there. So we'll do our eggs there and we'll have some toast with it. I'll put some butter in with the steak and the eggs too. Because that gives it a little bit more flavor. Okay, it is time to put our steak in there. Mm, I like to sear it pretty hard. I like my steak anywhere between rare and medium rare. All right, I got my toast dropped. I've already taken the pan off the burner because that steak should come out absolutely perfect once these eggs are ready. That nice non-stick egg pan. We're going to be going for over medium there. And oh boy, howdy and hot dog. Look at that. Look at that nice seared steak. A couple over medium eggs. Golden brown potatoes. And some nice toast and my favorite little steak knife we'll be back later on in the afternoon and I'll be making those sauteed mushrooms I've never made those at home it's gonna be fun to try to recreate that recipe